Well, hello again. This is question number two. We're going to graph quadratic again. And again, we're going to do it by finding the x-intercepts, the y-intercept, the vertex, and the axis of symmetry. And then, of course, have a total of at least five points. So let's see what we can come up with. First, we check to make sure this is in the right format. And sure enough, it is because I got 0 or y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And I'm going to define those. a is 1. b is... 0, because there's no term with an x, which means b has to be 0, and c equals negative 4. All right, so we're ready. We can go ahead. First, we're going to deal with the, actually, it doesn't really matter what you do first. You know what? Let's do this one different, just for the heck of it. Let's go ahead. Let's do the y-intercept first. you want to do that? Let's do the y-intercept. To get the y-intercept, we make x equals 0. So we're going to go y equals 0 squared minus 4. That, of course, means that y equals negative 4. So I go to a y-intercept of negative 4. Done. There's my y-intercept. All right. Let's do the vertex next. Why not? We can. Let's do it. In order to get the vertex, without knowing the x-intercepts yet, I'm going to have to go the x-value of the vertex equals negative b over 2a. So that would be negative 0 over 2 times a, which is 1 which means I got 0 over 2, which is 0. So my x value of my vertex is right here. So that means my axis of symmetry is at x equals 0. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and take this x value and plug it in. But we already know what happens if we put 0 in for x. We get negative 4. So not only is 0, negative 4 my y-intercept, but it is also my vertex. All right, so we got check, y-intercept, check, vertex. Now we're going to do the fun one. We're going to go ahead and do the x-intercept. Now to do the x-intercept, the first thing we're going to do is do the discriminant. And the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, which is 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4. And that would then be 0 Let's see, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and then negative 4 times another negative 4 would be plus 16. So the discriminant is 16, which, of course, since this is positive, means that there are two x-intercepts. All right, so we got two x-intercepts. So let's go ahead and find them. Let's go x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Recognize that the b squared minus 4ac right here is the discriminant and the negative b over 2a right there. That was my vertex. So everything's kind of been used, taken care of at this point. We go ahead and we say x equals negative b, which was 0, right? I'm still using this information plus or minus the square root of, now I already know b squared minus 4ac is 16 because that's what I did before, right? b squared minus 4ac was 16, so b squared minus 4ac is 16. That's not going to change. All over 2 times a. I go ahead and simplify. x equals 0 plus or minus the square root of 16, which is 4. Now, at some point, I'm going to start giving you square roots that are not nice and cakey like 16. But you just plug it into the calculator. You get another number. And you do plus that number. You do minus that number. It doesn't change anything. So 2 times 1 is 2. So now we've got two different pieces, right? We've got 0 plus 4, which is 4 over 2. And we've got 0 minus 4 over 2, which is negative 4 over 2. So that gives me negative 2. This one gives me positive 2. So my x-intercepts are positive 2 and negative 2. So now I've got 1, 2, 3 points. At this point, I need two more because I'm supposed to have five points. I've already got my x-intercepts. i got my y-intercept. i got my vertex. And there's nothing I can reflect this time. Okay, sometimes there will be, sometimes there won't be. So my next step is I need another point somehow. So what we're going to do is we're just going to choose an x value and throw it into the equation. All right? It doesn't really matter which x, which x value you pick, but I would definitely choose one that's kind of in this 
region here. So, you know, one would be really nice. And, you know, three would be nice as well. That's probably give you a point up here. So either one of those is probably going to give you something reasonable. So I'm just going to say um, x equals one because that's easy on my brain. So I'm going to say if x equals one, then I have y equals one squared minus four. And so I work that out. This is just the original equation that I put 1 into. So y equals 1 squared is 1 minus 4. So that equals negative 3. I put down the point 1 comma negative 3, which is right here. That one I reflect to the other side. It's one space away, so one space on the other side. And now I can draw my quadratic graph, which looks something like this. And it's a nice quadratic graph because I had five points. All right, there you go. Done with this one.